to uh, well, hey everybody this is your boy Chris back here with uh my boy first Dugana <laughs> hey y'all hey y'all we down here in uh, Augusta Georgia at ARG Summer States and we just had the most awkward moment in the top eight when your boy busted out your none other just tell me what you played man tell me what you played uh, I played Ray Raptors today uh, <laughs> don't mind him y'all <laughs> I play Ray Raptors today. Uh, I noticed a lot of decks in the meta struggle against Ultimate Falcon, so why not play the deck that makes it the best? And I edited the deck. Uh, we're doing it nonstop all week, and the deck is broken. It's super consistent, and people. It took a lot of people 20 minutes just to kill Ultimate Falcon. Ultimate Falcon only died twice today. Two times. Only twice. He now, only died twice, and one person had a uh, Sky Striker had a stack 21 cards, 21 spells in his graveyard to do it. It's so good. Ultimate Falcon. OP. Uh, Ultimate Falcon Tier 1. Hey, just to show y'all, this boy got top 8 at ARG Summer Stays with none other than Ray Raptors. He got the invite and the pin. Hey, hey. your boy did his thing. I gotta give it to him. Yeah, let's, let's see what this, uh, this alter sex in this. I'm not wearing, I'm not wearing my teammate. Hey, what, what team you on, man? Tell me what team you Hey, uh, that's what we're saying. It's okay, I'm gonna let you slide this time. We're gonna. <laughs> All right, let's get right into this. All right, first time for the monsters, we got triple Ray Raptor tribute lanes. Now what this dude does is, uh, when uh, he's uh, at the turn he's normal summon, you can foolish burial any of your Ray Raptor monsters, which help continue with combos. He's an 1800 body. And if you beat over a monster, uh, he can add a quick play rate, uh, ranked up magic, but I don't play any because they're all trash. <laughs> uh, uh, so, three tribute lanes, uh, three your win condition, uh, triple Ray Raptor last tricks. I, I see a lot of people not playing three. Three's two. You, if you're playing less than three, you suck at Ray Raptors. Uh, <laughs> but what this dude does is he does two things. One, you can, tri uh, you can tribute him the special summon one of your Ray Raptor uh, exceed monsters from the extra deck, uh, but your opponent takes no battle damage. The second effect, this effect I actually forgot to use, which cost me a game, uh, is when during damage calculation, if you control a spell or have a spell in your graveyard, you can special summon this guy and you gain life points equal to how many spells and traps are in your graveyard and on field. So that's tricks. Uh, you tribute him, especially your, your, your uh, satellite cannon falcon, and rank it up into your ultimate falcon and you win. Hey. Simple as that. Kaiju a buff. Mm, kaiju a buff. Uh, next we're going to triple vanishing lanes. What this guy does is uh, during the, the turn it's normal summon, you can special summon one Ray Raptor monster from your hand. And um, the thing is, he's not once per turn, hard once per turn. So if you have multiples, you can normal, effect, special, special, normal, I mean, uh, effect, special. So this helps build uh, build boards to make like Skull Dread and other stuff, or make more rank fours, or just put more bodies on board to OTK your opponent. Because I OTK'd at least four times today. Uh, 1300 bodies, not, it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're punching them directly constantly, it's a, it's, it adds up. Next we got, uh, my, one of my favorites, uh, Triple Memory Cry Lanes. Uh, what it, what this dude does is, during the, uh, main phase, if it's normal summon, I can boost up all my Ray Raptors by one. But I'm not playing uh, uh, their levels by one. But I'm not playing Blaze Falcon because Blaze Falcon sucks. Uh, <laughs> the main main reason you want him at three is because when he's sent when he, they're in your main phase when he's in your graveyard, you can banish him to search any Ray Raptor card, uh, whether it be the trap cards, uh, nest, or any of the combo pieces. Uh, most of the time, I use him to go ahead and get my last tricks or go ahead and search Vanishing to get my extra normal summons or my extra specials. But that's what he's good for. He's a searcher. All right. Um, I hate this card, but you have to play him. Uh, triple Fuzzy Lanius. <laughs> what he does is if you control a Ray Raptor monster besides Fuzzy Lanius, you can special him from your hand. And uh, when he's sent to the graveyard during the main phase, during either player's turn, you can add another copy of himself. But during the turn that you use either of those two effects, you're locked down into Ray Raptors. So he helps you uh, make your four strikes. Um, or if I need to, it's just fodder. And, or most of the time I pitch him with a lure because I really don't like this card. Um, for the last of Ray Raptors, I played Dope Pain Lanius, mainly because it's a level one, but also he's another Ray Raptor I can special for my hand for free. Well, basically for free. What it does is if you control a Ray Raptor monster, you can uh, target it, reveal it in hand, you take damage equal to the Ray Raptor monster defense and you special it, and it copies the level of the monster you, uh, you took damage for. So if I had like, if I was like this, I just burn for 15 special, and then I can overlay for four. Hey! And this doesn't restrict me. 
So okay. I, can, I can make other things. All right. And last for the monsters, I'll play a triple Ash Blossom. Enjoy the spring because it's Ash Blossom. Yeah. No need to explain there. Bow hit. Big bow hit. Stop. Uh, stop uh, the game state. All right. Next for spells, I'm playing. Triple Skip Force, best card in the deck because uh, you target a Red Raptor monster you control, and uh, basically what you do is um, you have this. You have to rank up Skip Force. It ranks up a Red Raptor by two, so you go into your Ultimate Falcon, and then uh, the secondary effect of it, let's say, to hide your Ultimate Falcon. You can banish this card from your graveyard and another Ray Raptor monster in your graveyard, especially someone who wants Ray Raptor exceed monster, so you bring the ultimate falcon right back. <laughs> so they kill it, they gotta kill it again. <laughs> so triple skip force. Skip force amazing. Uh triple astral force is not as good, but it still uh, targets the exceed monster, ranks it up by two, so it's another way into ultimate falcon. Uh, or any of the other ones I need to do, um, and also during your draw phase. But the only uh, during your draw phase, you can add this back instead of drawing for turn. And um, only bad thing is it has to rank up the highest rank on the field. So if you have Ultimate Falcon out already, it's not going to do you any good. All right. But it still helps you get the Ultimate Falcon, and you want to see ways to get into it. All right. This all this guy one time today, and it won me a game. What this card does is you pay half your life points, which is a lot. But you can target one Ray Raptor monster from your graveyard, special summon it, then rank it up by two. Uh, I use this going to Cyber Dragon Infinity, and you can make anything you want basically with it. All right. Uh, next uh, for draw cards, I'm playing Triple Ulr for uh, just because everything in here, so Ash Blossom is a dark monster. Uh, Two Swallows Nest. I wish this card was at three the whole time. Uh, basically, what this card does is uh, you can target, uh, you can tribute one face up uh, Wing Beast monster you control, especially some of the Wing Beast monster from your deck with the same uh, level. So, what you can do is this is this is my way of dodging hand traps like Valor and stuff. Uh, let's say you have this guy, you know on some of them, and you want to use his effect, and they affect Valor or inf infinite or permanence it. You chain Swallows Nest, tribute it off. And special another one, and then, another one, and then rank it up. Hey. Also, another thing that you can do with Swallows Nest is uh, there was a time that I OTK the person because I had Ultimate Falcon out. I beat over the one monster that he had. I had uh, Tribute Lanius and two of these in my hand, so I attack with Ultimate Falcon and I attack with Tribute Lanius, Swallows Nest to an, uh, to another Tribute Lanius, attack Swallows Nest. To third tribute lane. Hey! <laughs> so, Swallows Nest is really good. Skip for your case. Swallows Nest, if you're not playing it, you're bad. I need, I need to get a third one. Third one. Uh, two we'll find one. What this card does is uh, it's a quick play spell that allows you to tribute uh, face up monster you control. And uh, you special summon from the extra deck uh, an exceed monster. Well, a monster from the extra deck. That, uh, that has the same original type, but it cannot attack, it affects negated. Also, it cannot, uh, uh, it, it, and it's destroyed by the, during the end phase. So what you do is, this card turns any of your Ray Raptor monsters into last tricks. This is your second last tricks. I actually want to play three, but I couldn't find three in time. So let's say you open with that. Just, just that plus a rank up spell in this. So you just add a cattle call, tribute this off. You special summon your satellite cannon falcon. You rank it up. Hey. So it's a free. It's a. It's another tribute. It's another last race basically. So I'm gonna play this at three, and I'm gonna play Swallows Nest at three. Another cool thing about uh, Swallows Nest, be open with this guy. You can use Swallows Nest to change him into um, to into Lastrix. So if you have this and this, you have Lastrix. So there's just so many ways to get to your win condition. It's it's, it's unreal. Uh, carrying on. Uh, we have two call by the grave because you really don't like hand traps. Hand traps suck, but three call by the grave is too much because I break off of them. But it's one of those cards if you see it, it helps you. If you don't see it, you don't want to see it. Uh, two call by the graves, one red rat in the nest. I may resolve this card's effect uh, maybe once or twice. What it does is if you have two uh, ray if you control two or more ray raptors, you can uh, add one ray raptor monster from deck or graveyard to your hand. So you can just they tell you your last tricks you, or your your memory cry, your vanishing. You can get it back and add it back. And uh, that's basically it for that card. Uh, one one day apiece. One upstart goblin. One pot of desires. 
one foolish barrel to get that memory card in the graveyard or fuzzy, and one one for one is another way to get to last All right. So also these, both of these give give you last because if you use foolish burial, you can you don't uh, memory cry and you banish memory cry and add last tricks. So you just have so many ways to get into your win condition. Um, I don't know. I don't know why people don't play this deck no more. This deck is fun. It is fun. And no, no one can kill Ultimate Falcon. Hey, you're right. Hey, without, let me see what Twenty One spells in the grave. <laughs> That's the main deck. Twenty One spells to get over Ultimate I, Falcon. I played Forty Two. Uh, I know I'm a scrub, but it's whatever. Hey. Uh, anyways, uh, we're gonna go on to the extra deck real quick. All right. Uh, we have. I know I'm bad, but I play one four tricks. <laughs> Everybody plays three. I only play one. One's all you need. I hate going into eight. Because if you go into four strikes and you don't have a ranked up card, you're basically four strikes pass, which is super ass. You have four strikes, search, pass, and that's it. Your opponent kills you. Uh, so one, one four strikes, uh, what it does is um, you detach the material, search one wing beast. You can search Zephyros to the Elite or if you're playing that or any of your Ray Raptors. The only one it doesn't search is last strikes. But you can search uh, stuff that searches it, so it's, it doesn't even matter. So one four strikes. One of the God card that no one God card. What this dude is, this he's the main reason I play four strikes. All right, what this, uh, what you do is you rank four strikes up in the uh, Revolution Falcon. What this guy does is, once per turn, I can detach a material, destroy one monster on the field, and this card can attack all monsters my opponent controls. And when it attacks the opponent's monster, their attacking defense becomes zero. I use this to clear out um, a Cosmo board that kept on floating. They, they, they were I was like, okay, I attack your monster, destroy it. It was like, okay, float. Attack your monster, okay, destroy it, float. Attack your monster, attack your monster, attack your monster, attack your monster, attack your monster. Mm. I, I swear I killed 15 monsters in that one turn <laughs> with this guy alone and then swung directly with Skull Dread and uh, Ultimate Pocket for game. And um, if they're in attack position, they're taking 2,000, 2,000, 2,000. If I hit five monsters, it's game. Yeah. And everything in the format uh, special summons. So he, he's he's a field white. He's he's for Gecky. For Gecky. Uh, next is uh, another guy card. Sound like Cannon Falcon. What this dude does is when he's exceeds summon, he destroys all spells and traps your opponent controls, and they cannot respond to that. Um, also, I can detach the material. Target uh, all well all my opponent's monsters lose 800 attack. Uh, yeah, just 800 attack for each Raid Raptor card in my graveyard. So I can literally detach and make all their monsters become zero. And then go into this guy and just kill them all. But but mainly I use him for a stepping stone to make the big guy card, Ultimate Falcon. Hey. He's unaffected by everything. Everything? Everything. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and if he has a material, which he normally does, uh, during the end phase, uh, all my opponent's monsters lose a thousand attack, mm -hmm. and if they control no monsters, they burn for a thousand damage. And then on my turn, I can actually detach a material to um, negate all card effects they have, and they can't activate anything. So I can, it's like Kaliuga, I can negate everything. And it's 3500, hey, which is really hard for him to get over. And in case bit on the big god card isn't um, enough. I go into the bigger god card. Hey, big boy. Final Fortress Falcon. What this dude does is, um, I can detach the material, return all banished Ray Raptor monsters back to my graveyard, and then, during the battle phase, I mean, it, also if he has a material, he's unaffected, just like uh, uh, Ray Raptor, uh, Ultimate Falcon, so he's a 3800 Ultimate Falcon. I can, uh, in battle, if I destroy a monster by battle, I can banish a Ray Raptor Exceed monster, attack again. So, I can fire like three, engrave, attack, attack, attack. That's, that's, that's a lot of damage. Alright. And that's it for the Ray Raptor monsters. I made him twice today. Every time I summon that guy, every time I summon either of these, I won, except for the, the, the final duel, which the dude finally got over with 21 spells. Rest in peace, Ultimate Falcon. You will be remembered. Another fun thing <laughs> that I do is, since I make a lot of, I can make rank fours. Play Utopia. Utopia Prime. Zexel. Well, wait a minute. I was, I was Zexel That's right, you do run the rank up. Yeah, so what I do is, um, let's say I had Mimicry and uh, any Vanishing and a rank up spell. So your normal the Vanishing uses the special, special, you overlay, you go Utopia Prime, you pitch a spell, uh, a rank up spell, go on the Zexal Nice 4000 attack power. Hey! As four turns, your opponent plays no Yu Gi Oh! Unless, right. they unless they have like a Kaiju, a Kaiju or a monster that can beat over it. So turn one, 3000 attack power still, can't do nothing. And then turn two, 2,000 tap power. They still can't do nothing. Turn three, you might have a chance. <laughs> but 
the Zexel package. One of Best Dweller. I was expecting to play some Gokis, never made it all day. Mm. I was expecting to play Gokis and Spirals, so I put Dweller in, never used it. Another God card, Ice Beast Zero Fiend. Okay. Uh, what this dude does is, I can do, on my turn, I can detach the material, uh, negate. Your, your opponent cannot activate. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. All cards on their field are negated uh, to my next standby phase. Also, against 300 attack power for each uh, face up card it control. So, this dude can get pretty damn beefy. So, I, I, I do one dude who had like six face up cards, and this guy got to like retarded attack power and just hey. uh, beat over it. And, right. and I can make this under rivalry because it's a wing beast. That's right. Uh, one Cyber Dragon Affinity. I make this guy off of Soul Shape Force by ranking up four strips. Um, All right. You know what Cyber Dragon Affinity does. We do. Negate. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure nobody knows what this dude does. Mm -hmm. Firefighting Dharma Doll. What okay. this dude does is um, it takes two beast, wing beast, warrior, or the, to make it. So I use just two wing beasts to make it. Uh, it's only two that points down. Um, what it. It gets 100 attack for each wing beast on the field, and when it destroys a monster by battle, I get to add a wing beast from uh, from my graveyard or banish pile back to my hand. So this guy gets my uh, if I banish something uh, I want off a of lord or something. That's actually pretty good. I, I just add it right back and just keep going with what I'm doing. Now I got arrows pointing down, so they can't mega fleet my my ultimate falcon. Main thing is I try to keep my ultimate falcon away from the, uh, the extra monster zone, so they can't mega fleet it. But okay. this dude's good. Play him. And one Skull Dread. Oh, the Dread. Yeah, so the thing with Skull Dread is you play them when you have like a like a, a Lastrix in hand. So you, you link four and go to Skull Dread. Uh, you draw your card. Chances are you're going to hit a rank up. And then you put everything else at the bottom and you special your Lastrix. So you can use your normal summon for other things. And then you just summon, 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 make him draw. And then you use uh, special Lastrix, rank it up so you have Ultimate Falcon underneath it. So that gets it out of the main monster zone. I mean, uh, the extra monster zone, so you don't have to worry get like, about mega fleet. All right, I hate mega fleet. So okay. let's quickly go through your side deck and wrap this on up. All right, side deck is pretty. St it's pretty standard. One, two, three gamma seals. Triple gamma seal. What the hell? One, oh. two, three veilers. <laughs> three veilers. One, two, three cyclones because they're pretty. I don't want to play twin twist. Yeah. Uh, one Mugeki, one dark hole. Two evenly matched gods and two rivalry warlords. Kill them. Yeah. Because so how did rivalry work really well for you today? I yes. Suppose? You you go ultimate falcon rivalry the warlords. Maybe. Your opponent's gonna look at you <laughs> and then they're gonna look at their deck, <laughs> look at their hand, and look at the extra deck and realize they can't summon nothing that can kill it unless they're playing all warriors got Utopia Lightning. Yeah. So that's basically the deck profile. Um, the deck worked really well. It's super consistent. There's a couple things I would add. I would like to add a third uh, Catacall and a third uh, Soul's Nest. I'll probably pick those up whenever I can find them. I have to dig through some bolt to find them. But the deck was it was it was impressive. Ultimate Falcon, too broke. Um, but that's basically all I have to say. Shout out to my boy Feli right here for loaning me the even leaves. Hey! Uh, but that's basically it. Uh, shout out to teammate. Hey! Augusta ARG. Hey! Fucking uh, Augusta Book Exchange. It's the shop, y'all. Y'all come and join us. Yep. <laughs> All right. Wait on Chris to give me my mat, man. Well, we're going to get you one. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I didn't wear a shirt today. The shirt's in the laundry, but I'm still repping teammates. It's cool, man. Uh, Thanks for representing, though. All right. You did what you're Hope supposed you to do. Enjoy. <laughs> Peace. All right. Come back next time, y'all. <laughs>